Hi, welcome in everybody, Lufo ELT, coming at you with a speaking and listening video. And today we're going to be looking at phonemes, letters, and allophones. So what is a phoneme? Well, a phoneme is basically just a single sound that has meaning in a language. And these are represented by a single letter or a combination of letters. Um, and in English, there are two major uh, phoneme categories, which are vowels and consonants. And as you may know, uh, there are 26 letters in the English alphabet and 44 phonemes in standard American and British English. Um, and each phoneme represents a different sound. Okay. And um, sometimes letter combinations need to be used to make a phoneme. So sometimes it's not just a single letter that makes a sound, but a combination of letters. And the same combination of letters can even represent different phonemes. So let's take a look at an example here with the combination of letters CH. All right, and this combination can actually make three different sounds. So the first word we're looking at as an example is chance. And chance is spelled C-H-A-N-C-E. And the beginning sound with the C-H combination makes the sound ch, ch, right? All right, and for the next word in the example, we're looking at the word choir, which is spelled C-H-O-I-R. And here, the CH combination makes the sound k, k, okay? And finally, the last word in the example is chef, which is spelled C-H-E-F. And here, the CH combination makes the sound sh, all right? So from this example, you can see that the same letter combination actually makes different phonemes, okay? So sometimes there are different ways to pronounce a single combination, a single phoneme, like the CH example we just looked at. And these different pronunciations are called allophones. And today we're going to look at the letter combination and allophone TH. All right. So why do the same letters make different sounds? Well, without going into too much complicated history, basically what you need to understand is that English has been influenced and changed a lot by other languages, okay? And I believe that the TH sound actually comes from Old English, okay? Um, you can look more into this. I think it's very interesting um, if you want to. Uh, I might write a blog post about this on my website, lufoelt.com, to get more into this because I do like history. But the main thing to understand is that foreign languages and other languages have influenced English and the alphabet has changed over time and the sounds that we use have been introduced over time as well. Okay, so the two TH sounds in English, as I said, I believe they come from Old English and there are two sounds and the original letters were that, as you can see on the screen here, and thorn. And these letters come from the Old English alphabet. Um, these days, we'd, we've changed the name, and we've even changed one of the letters, which represents this phoneme. So we don't call it that and thorn anymore. Now we use the IPA, or International Phonetic Alphabet, to understand English pronunciation. And for the what used to be called that, now is called the voice dental fricative. And what uh, used to be called the thorn is now called the voiceless dental fricative. And the letter is changed to sort of look like a zero with like a slash through the middle of it. If you're unfamiliar with the uh, IPA alphabet, um, I have two resources that are great that I can tell you about. One is uh, IPA translation tool, and you can go to twophonetics.com. That's T O p-h-o-n-e-t-i-c-s dot com and basically uh, you can choose between British English or American English and um, you can type or paste a word or even text into the box and then you just click the show transcription button so if you're looking for the pronunciation of the word this type it in 
and then just click the show transcription button and you'll see um, the IPA symbols for how to pronounce this word and you can even listen to uh, how it should be pronounced um, by just using the um, play buttons on the website okay and they also have foreign language support um, in Spanish French Portuguese Japanese Chinese and Russian uh, I'm not affiliated with this website but I do think it's a great tool um, for you to use and if you're trying to learn the IPA uh, alphabet the IPA symbols you can go to ipachart.com that is ipachart.com uh, once again, I'm not affiliated with this website, but I do think it's a good tool that you can use to begin to learn the IPA symbols. When we're looking at the uh, CH examples, you can see that I use the IPA symbols to show uh, the different uh, sounds and the different phonemes that the same letter combination makes. Okay, so back to our focus for today, which is the TH sound. Um, first, we'll be looking at the voiced dental fricative. And for this, I have a, a few words here. This, these, that, those, them, and there. Now, you can hear the TH sound for the voiced dental fricative makes the sound th Okay, and I have a little illustration here to help you uh, practice how to pronounce this. Basically, you put the tip of your tongue, the front of your tongue, uh, just in between your front and bottom teeth and kind of press a little bit on the uh, back of your front teeth, uh, on, the, on your, uh, the top teeth, and vibrate your throat. And you can vibrate your throat, you know, if I just have my mouth open and I vibrate my throat, it just makes a sound like, ooh. But then if I have my tongue and my mouth in the right position for the TH sound and I vibrate my throat, then it makes the voiced dental fricative sound. Th this, these, that, those, them, there, like this. Now let's take a look at the voiceless, or sometimes you might see it called the unvoiced dental fricative sound. Now for this, the mouth position is the same, but this time you're not going to vibrate your throat. You're just going to pass air out of your mouth. So it sounds like this. Okay, so let me pronounce these uh, words here. Thorn, thin, thick, Thought, thick, though. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if I said think or thick, but you get the idea. The sound, the beginning sound is the same. Like this. Okay, and so now let's do a little quiz. Okay, let's see if you can uh, identify, as I say, each one of these. So go ahead and get a, a pencil and paper and write down which one you think this is. Okay, you can use the I IPA symbols that I showed you there uh, earlier. Okay, so for the first one, thing. All right, is that voiced or voiceless? All right, and the next one, Thursday. All right, third one is then. And the fourth one, Bother, bother. All right, and the fifth one, mother, mother. Sixth one, birthday, birthday. All right, the seventh one, month. Eight, math. Ninth, bathe. And the last one, tooth. All right, let's take a look at the answers here. All right, so there you have it. Um, you can practice this. 
um, using the website, the resources that I gave to you. It's a pretty simple concept, but I do think it will help you with your pronunciation and also your ability to listen to native speakers and maybe how to sound out new words uh, if you use the resources that I gave to you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Thank you.